How to Get Rid of Bleach Smell, Detailed Guide. In this video, we'll discuss how to get rid of bleach smell. We've compiled some of the best tips and tricks to help you eliminate that bleach smell from your home. Whether you accidentally spilled bleach on your carpet or just used it to clean your bathroom, we've got you covered. But first, what are the tools and materials you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get rid of that awful smell. Get rid of it! Ventilate the room. Ventilating the room is the first and most important step when trying to get rid of bleach smell. This is because fresh air can help disperse the bleach fumes and bring in clean, odorless air. To ventilate the room, open all the windows and doors. This will allow fresh air to come in and circulate throughout the room. If you have multiple windows, try to open them all to create cross ventilation. This will help move the air around and reduce the concentration of bleach fumes. To further help move the air around, use fans. Place them strategically in the room to create a flow of air. For example, if you have a window on one side of the room and a door on the other, you can place a fan by the window to bring fresh air in and another fan by the door to push the fumes out. If you have a ceiling fan, turn it on as well to help disperse the air. If the weather outside is not conducive to open windows, you can still ventilate the room using a ventilation system. These devices can help circulate the air and reduce the concentration of bleach fumes in the room. Keep the area well ventilated while using any or a combination of the following methods to get rid of the bleach smell completely. Danger Using white vinegar Before we go any further, here's an important warning. Some people suggest using vinegar to get rid of bleach smell. But we strongly advise against that. This is because chlorine gas is released when the acetic acid in vinegar reacts with the sodium hypochlorite in bleach. Chlorine gas is harmful even in small amounts. This gas is so dangerous that it was used as a chemical weapon during the First World War. So it's best to err on the side of caution and avoid anything that will bring those two together in your home. Baking soda. Baking soda is a simple and effective solution for neutralizing bleach odor in carpets, rugs, and upholstery. To get started, sprinkle baking soda generously over the affected areas, including carpets, rugs, and upholstery. Make sure to cover all the affected areas evenly with baking soda. After sprinkling the baking soda, leave it for a few hours to allow it to absorb the bleach odor. The longer you leave it, the better it will work. For best results, leave it overnight. Once the baking soda has had time to absorb the bleach odor, it's time to vacuum it up. Use a vacuum cleaner with a clean filter and vacuum the carpets, rugs, and upholstery thoroughly. This will remove the baking soda as well as any remaining bleach odor. Depending on the severity of the bleach smell, you may need to repeat the process a few times to completely get rid of the smell. Activated Charcoal Activated charcoal is a natural odor absorber that can be used to effectively remove bleach odor from a room. Activated charcoal is a type of charcoal that has been treated with oxygen to make it more porous and increase its surface area. This makes it more effective at absorbing odors. Place the activated charcoal in a bowl or container. You can use any type of container as long as it's big enough to hold the charcoal. After placing the charcoal in the container, leave it in the room for a few hours or overnight. During this time, the charcoal will absorb the bleach odor in the air. You can place the container in the center of the room or in a corner where it won't be disturbed. After the charcoal has had time to absorb the bleach odor, it's time to discard it. Coffee grounds. Start by choosing some fresh coffee grounds. You can use any type of coffee, but it's best to use a stronger, more aromatic blend to maximize the odor absorbing power of the coffee. Next, fill a bowl with coffee grounds. You can use any type of bowl, but make sure it's large enough to hold a good amount of coffee grounds. Once you have the coffee grounds in the bowl, place it in the room where the bleach smell is most noticeable. 
you can place it on a table, counter, or any other surface that's easily accessible. After placing the bowl of coffee grounds in the room, leave it there for a few days, if possible. During this time, the coffee grounds will absorb the bleach odor and leave a pleasant coffee aroma in the air. Finally, discard the coffee grounds after they've absorbed the odor. You can dispose of them in your regular trash or use them as a natural fertilizer for your plants. Essential Oils Choose an essential oil that has a scent you like. Some popular choices include lavender, peppermint, lemon, and eucalyptus. You can use a single oil or create a blend of multiple oils for a more complex scent. Next, fill a diffuser or spray bottle with water. You can use any type of diffuser or spray bottle, but make sure it's clean and free of any residual chemicals or scents. After filling the diffuser or spray bottle with water, add a few drops of your chosen essential oil. The number of drops you use will depend on how strong you want the scent to be. Start with a few drops and add more as needed. Once you have added the essential oil drops to the water, you can either spray the mixture in the air or use a diffuser to release the scent into the room. If you're using a spray bottle, simply spray the mixture in the air and walk around the room to distribute the scent. If you're using a diffuser, follow the manufacturer's instructions for use. Essential oils are a great way to mask the bleach odor, but the scent will eventually fade. Therefore, reapply the mixture as needed to maintain a pleasant scent in the room. Lemon Juice Start by mixing equal parts of lemon juice and water in a spray bottle. You can use fresh lemon juice or bottled lemon juice, as long as it's 100% natural with no added sugars or flavors. Once you have the lemon juice and water mixture ready, spray it in the air and on surfaces in the room to neutralize the bleach odor. Be sure to spray the mixture evenly and thoroughly around the room. Pay special attention to areas where the bleach odor is strongest. After spraying the mixture, leave it to sit for a few hours to allow the lemon juice to work its magic. The natural acids in lemon juice will neutralize the odors during this period. After a few hours, wipe off the lemon juice mixture from surfaces with a damp cloth. This will help remove any remaining bleach residue and also leave a fresh lemon scent in the room. Keep in mind that lemon juice may not completely eliminate the bleach odor, especially if the bleach was used in a concentrated form. However, it can certainly help mask the odor and create a more pleasant atmosphere in the room. If the bleach odor persists, you may need to try other methods discussed in this video. Air Purifier An air purifier is a great resource when it comes to getting rid of any unwanted smell or odor. All you have to do is set it up and let it run. If you don't already have an air purifier, buy one that has a high-efficiency particulate air HEPA, filter. This type of filter is designed to capture tiny particles like bleach odor. Choose a location for the air purifier that is central to the room and free from obstructions. Run the air purifier for several hours or overnight to remove the bleach odor from the air. Most air purifiers have different settings for fan speed and filter life. Follow the manufacturer's instructions to adjust the settings to your preference. You also need to check the manufacturer's instructions for when to replace the filter. It's important to replace the filter on a regular basis to maintain the effectiveness of the air purifier. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If so, please like, share, and comment to let me know what you thought. Your feedback is important to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.